Hi, what's up guys? Mealy Freak Eric here. I want to do a video on my custom 300 short mag. Now this video has been a long time coming. I used this rifle in Kyrgyzstan. I used it in Mexico. It was a fantastic mid-weight build and still packs a punch. So the 300 short mag, why the 300 short mag? Now the 300 short mag was really popular about 10 years ago. You get magnum type performance out of a short action. You know, the 300 short mag only has 80 grains of water capacity and a max PSI of 65,000. You know, it's gonna be flinging 200 grain ELDXs at roughly 28, 20, 2840 uh, feet per second. So it's not gonna have that velocity that say, you know, a 300 wind mag would have or a 30 nozzle or a 300 PRC but it, it was just popular because it was just an efficient caliber. And I built this in the midweight because I wanted something that was super packable, yet packed a punch, and that's why I kind of built this the way that I built it, because I wanted something that was lightweight, but I could still take big game all the way up to brown bear with it. All right, so I just want to talk about the action first. So this is obviously, you know, that we use a lot of these Lone Peak arms action. This is a Lone Peak Razor titanium action um, from the guys out of Hyde Park, Utah. Now, the thing about a custom action is that all these actions are true, and anytime you have a custom action, it's gonna be true. Meaning, it's built for accuracy. That's something that you're not gonna get out of a factory uh, action or any factory rifle for that matter. So, you're gonna get improved accuracy right off the bat. All right, so next moving on to, in my opinion, the next most foundational, if not the most foundational part of building an accurate custom rifle is your barrel. Now, this is obviously a proof carbon fiber uh, barrel. It's a full Sendero and a nine twist, 24 inches. So I decided to go with 24 inches because I wanted something that fit on my pack, that packed well. You know, I wasn't really concerned about velocity. Obviously with a longer barrel, you're gonna get more velocity, but I just wanted something that was a little more compact. You can see obviously here, there's a blended break, which is gonna take some of that recoil out. But let me talk a little bit about carbon. Not all carbon is created equal. Carbon barrels are 64% lighter than traditional steel barrels. They also dissipate heat better, and because they dissipate heat better, you're not gonna get impact shift when you're shooting high volumes. Super, super important to know. In this midweight build, I went with a pretty light stock. This is the A3 stock by McMillan with edge fill. And the thing about the A3 that's really nice is you're still gonna get that nice cheek weld. It's gonna help you maintain consistent holds with your cheek and your anchoring points with your rifle. So. This, this features flush, flushing cups so that it accommodates a sling and it comes in a custom paint job by, by Travis in the Cryptic Altitude pattern. Moving on to the scope here. Leupold's Mark V HD. This is a three to 18 by 44 in MRAD. In my opinion, this is one of the top hunting rifle scopes. And I decided to go with a three eighteen by 44 because I didn't plan on shooting shots at you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1200 yards with this scope, even though I did make that shot on the mule there, it was 850 or so. But I mean, this is good glass, it's lightweight, and for an expensive build like this, it just it seemed like a good fit. So obviously mounting this, we have the Hawkins Precision Rings. A lot of people don't realize this, but if you have a good set of rings, you don't need to go in there and lap the rings, okay? You, they should come from the factory or from the manufacturer, Perfect. And then last but not least, a Trigger Tech Special Trigger. All with an Atlas Bad Pod. But, let's weigh this thing. Let's see what this bad boy weighs. Put it all together. If you've listened to the podcast, you've, you'll see on the podcast, Travis and I talk a lot about the midweight build and how this midweight build is great for magnum type calibers, it's good for long range type stuff. Now, if you're gonna build a long range stuff and really focus with an emphasis on long range, you know, I would suggest maybe a 300 PRC or a seven mag or something of that nature. But, you know, having a magnum caliber in a short action, you're limited to seven psalms, seven, seven short mag, and then 300 short mag. And I just wanted to try out the 300 short mag. All right guys, thanks for watching the video on my custom 300 short mag and the configuration of the components that I put together for it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about this build. Hopefully it triggers some ideas for you for a future build. So give Travis a shout, order a proof barrel online from us or your local dealer. Catch you on the next one. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.